welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Motorsport. I know it's been a little while, but just the other day, we got some news that affects both games, the upcoming Forza Motorsport and the Forza Horizon 5 expansion 2. And today, we're gonna talk about it. But real quick, before we jump into that, I wanted to remind you one last time, it is your last chance to enter our giveaway for the Xbox Series X that I'm giving away right now. It is super simple to enter. All you have to do is number one, subscribe to the channel, and number two, join the AR12 Discord server. And in a couple of days, I'm gonna randomly pick a winner and send them an Xbox Series X. Anyways, let's get back to Forza Horizon 5 and the upcoming Forza Motorsport. Disclaimer, it's not called Forza Motorsport 8. Literally every single video I make talking about it, you're like, why is it not Forza Motorsport 8? It's a reboot, it's called Forza Motorsport, not Forza Motorsport 8. Anyways, let's talk about it. As the story goes though, a couple of days ago, Jez Corden, who's an Xbox insider, he knows everything there is to know about Xbox, recently shared some noise that he's been hearing in the Xbox family about an Xbox game show that's gonna happen in early 2023 to showcase the releases that are coming out in the first half of the new year. AKA, what that means for us is Forza Horizon 5 second expansion and the upcoming Forza Motorsport game. For those of you who don't know though, Jez is an Xbox insider. Personally, I met Jez a couple of years ago out in LA. He is an awesome dude who knows literally everything there is to know about Xbox. And what he says is usually correct. So his words carry a lot of weight. And when he says something like Xbox is planning a game show, usually those things tend to happen. And not only have people like Jez been talking about a potential Xbox show happening in early 2023, but usually Xbox showcases a bunch of new games and trailers and sometimes does announcements at the Game Awards. And during 2022's show, there wasn't a single Xbox trailer. And ever since then, that got a lot of people talking and going, wait, wait. What is Xbox doing? Like, are they doing their own thing? Like, what's going on over at Xbox? And all of that seems to be pointing at an Xbox standalone show in early 2023, where they'll showcase all of those new games and trailers. Obviously, these are rumors right now, and Xbox won't confirm any of these things, but be on the lookout for an Xbox show happening in January or February. So you may be saying, what does all of this have to do with Forza exactly? Well, for Forza Horizon 5, the developers actually already confirmed that the second expansion is set to launch in early 2023, so we would definitely see a trailer if this Xbox show is real. And Forza Motorsport, the developers also said that that is coming out before June of 2023. So that would also be in this potential Xbox show. So let's start it off with that second expansion. So obviously none of this stuff is confirmed just yet, but we can use what we saw in the past to maybe make some predictions about the future. So if this Xbox game showcase is gonna work anything like E3 did, E3 happened in June and then we got the FH5 expansion in July. So I could potentially see that Xbox showcase happening in February and the expansion come out in March. The question remains and the big mystery is what is the FH5 second expansion? And that is a very, very good question because like I said, usually I'd like to look in the past and try to make some predictions for the future, but you just can't do that this time around. If you go back to like the earlier Forza Horizon games, you'll look at the first expansion and notice those are like the severe weather expansions like Storm Island, Blizzard Mountain, and so on. And then the second expansion, those are the branded licensed expansions like Hot Wheels and Lego. And this time it's done a 180. Everything for Forza Horizon 5 has been different than what it's usually like. Usually we'd only have to wait like one or two months for the first expansion. For Forza Horizon 5, we had to wait eight whole months for that first expansion to drop. And it seems like we're gonna have to wait another eight months for the second expansion to drop. So everything is different this time around. They've changed everything for Forza Horizon 5. So you can't really look back at the past and make predictions about the future. But like logically, you wanna think about it and you wanna go, okay, FH5 expansion one was a branded one. So that means expansion two should be like that severe weather one. And that makes a lot of sense, but maybe they haven't gone down that. Forza's brand is stronger than it's ever been. It's bigger than it's ever been. And Forza Horizon 5 is still arguably one of the best open world console racing games there is right now. So 
if Forza wanted to secure another licensed partner for their second expansion, they 100% could, but who would that be? For example, could Forza team up with LEGO? Probably, but would LEGO Arena. necessarily want their expansion to be right next to the Hot Wheels one and vice versa? Probably not. Even though I personally love both expansions, I could see those brands not really appreciating those things living that close to each other. And then I mean, probably more likely, could the developers go down that same route from the past and do one of those severe weather expansions again? 100% they could. I know there's been a lot of talk in the community ever since Forza Horizon 5 came out, me particularly, have been mentioning things like Blizzard Mountain 2.0, like we've got snow tires in FH5, but we've never really had a snowy place to use those tires. There's also been a lot of talk about like hurricanes and tropical storms and basically taking the weather effects that are already in FH5 and almost turning them up to 11 and cranking them to just see what happens and basing an expansion around that could be pretty cool as well. Or maybe we're all wrong, who knows right now. I actually made a video a couple of months ago about some of your guys' predictions for the FH5 expansion too. If you missed that video, I'll link to it in the description down below. It was a really fun one to make reading what you guys had to say. Regardless though, I think the expansion is gonna come out sooner rather than later, probably February, March. Be on the lookout for it then. Let's move on to motorsport though, because that's when things get really, really spicy. So again, if this Xbox game showcase is set to happen in February, I would imagine the game's probably gonna be coming out around May, maybe leading into June. It could be one of those instances where Xbox goes to E3 and is like, here's Forza Motorsport and it's available now type of thing. They could 100% do that, but I would personally lean a little bit more towards May. I am super excited about Forza Motorsport dropping. As you probably noticed with some of my videos recently, I have been absolutely loving sim racing. Whether it be super in-depth games like iRacing, for example, jumping into crazy modded games like Assetto Corsa and doing like the no hezzy stuff, or super realistic physics engines like BeamNG Drive, I have been loving everything sim racing for the past couple of months. I've actually been talking about it for the past little while on my Twitter actually, but I've been wanting to upgrade my sim racing setup and making little improvements to that, whether it be like getting a new rig so I can swap out different wheels and handbrakes and pedals and shifters and all of those types of things. Or maybe I wanna go out and get like a triple monitor setup, for example, I don't know, but all of these things are getting me more and more excited about Forza Motorsport. The developers have already shared a ton of really cool information about the upcoming Forza Motorsport game, whether it be like new tracks like that custom built Japanese circuit or some of the new cars in the game. I am just mind blown and cannot wait to jump into it. I hope the new Forza Motorsport game has an online ranking system similar to that of iRacing where you have both a safety rating and a skill rating. So if you're just ramming people off the track, you lose all of your skill rating and maybe you lose access to online temporarily. Or if you've got a super high skill rating, you're only gonna be racing against people of that same skill rating. So regardless, you're gonna have really, really good races. And I hope Forza Motorsport has a similar system to that because I just want good racing at the end of the day, right? I know the developers haven't spoken too much about Forza Motorsport over the past couple of months, but they did say they would be bringing it back in the new year where they're gonna talk about some more details every single month. So as always, I will bring all of that information to you as soon as I get it. Regardless though, I am super excited about both the FH5 expansion 2 and just what is it gonna be? Like there's so many different possibilities and then two, I am so pumped for Forza Motorsport and letting like that competitive edge out. I cannot wait. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Subscribe, join the Discord, enter the Xbox Series X giveaway, and I'll see you guys soon with some more. See you then. Bye.